John Django Dam Removal Project Manager. I'm here at Raritan River Mile 27.0 at the Nevia Street Dam, the third and final project in this first phase of fish passage restoration on the Raritan River. It's July 19, 2013, and we are just days away from commencing the removal of this 112-year-old structure. The dam, located just south of the borough of Raritan, was constructed in 1901 by James Buchanan Duke, the tobacco and hydropower industrialist, for aesthetic and recreational purposes as part of his development of Duke Farms, the 2740-acre property in Hillsborough Township, New Jersey. This run-of-the-river dam, nearly 200 feet long and over 7 feet wide, has a concrete aggregate core capped with large mortared stone blocks, with a stair-step design on its downstream side. A water intake structure was installed in the early 1960s on the north end of the dam. Duke Farms began utilizing this intake system for their primary water supply several years later when their pumping withdrawals from the Raritan Water Power Canal were discontinued. Water flowing into the intake is conveyed downstream by a pipeline and then is pumped up to the Duke Farms property, a highly respected regional center of environmental stewardship, education and research to supply a series of nine lakes that were constructed between 1897 and 1911. This chain of lakes, interconnected by graceful waterfalls and cascades and punctuated by fountains, has naturalized to become a much-valued ecologically significant habitat and a critical sanctuary for wildlife, particularly as a vital stopover for thousands of waterfowl every spring and fall. Following several years of evaluation and testing of the most favorable water supply alternatives, Duke Farms approved the removal of the Nevia Street Dam, thus joining a watershed-wide effort to restore riverine habitat and the natural flow of the Raritan River, an objective that has long been of interest to a diversity of parties, including the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. Our office views dam removal and establishment of fish passage on the Raritan River as one of our top priorities with regard to increasing populations of American shad, river herring, American eel, and other vitally important fish stocks. Removing dams on New Jersey's largest river is a major step forward in getting this river restored.
Carl, you know, it's really not until after a dam is removed that people really understand and appreciate all the benefits you get from a dam removal project. You get the restoration of normal river flow. You start to see meanders form upstream of where this dam used to be. You get the presence of gravel bars that used to be submerged. Near water course vegetation tends to form on these now on these gravel bars. Um, you also get wading birds and fishermen accessing areas that were previously too deep to wade. And then finally, over time, you're going to see a transition of fish species from things like carp to more popular game fish species. So, where should the focus be now on future potential dam removal projects in this watershed? NOAA is actively working with its partners to seek the removal of two dams on the lower reaches of the Millstone River. And certainly fish passage at the Headgates Dam, the last remaining obstruction on the main stem of the Raritan River is absolutely critical to get fish passage up into the north and south branches of the Raritan River.